G'day fellas, how you going there today? We're just, uh, Johnny's backyard enjoying a couple of quiet ones. What's the date on that? Uh, May. 23rd of May 2014. Yeah. That's right, eh? Okay. Give this one a crack. You don't see that often, do you? No. Wow, did that uh, sound that loud to you? I hope the coppers don't come. <laughs> It was like a shotgun, wasn't it? Oh, I know. Bigger than a twenty-two. i I'm going to take it. <laughs> yeah, wasn't it? Especially with subsonics. Uh, anyway, they're, uh, it's got a bit of a nice head. I took it easy on yours. I didn't want to do what I did to that other one we had before. Different glass. Yeah, different glass. This is the Gib River Rye. We'll pull the rest out of this. We'll get some cloudiness happening, I reckon. Yeah. There you go, Johnny. Give me a try. Uh, oh. See what you reckon of that. Cheers, Trey. Cheers, me, mate. A lot more subtle Keep than the previous, you know, previous whatever's. Well, that's only, couple. yeah, well, it's only 4.7%. Yeah, a lot lighter. So it's more like your everyday drinker. You know, you have half a dozen. What's happened to the top of the bottle? It's got a nice little thing happening there, hasn't it? What's that? What's on the happened to the top of the bottle? Oh, it's a boy. It's oh, a boy. No. It's like oh. Right? oh, it's gone. <laughs> it's gone. He's done his job. Yeah, it's done. Thanks, yeah. fellas. That's lovely. Gib River Rye. Okay. How many vids you got up on your channel, Trev? Oh, a couple hundred. 200? Yeah, something like that. So you're spending... Four you know, months, I think, I've been doing it. Four months? Yeah. So you're spending five bucks a beer, and you've got 200, it's costing well, Some are costing 15 bucks, some of those rogue beers and that I'm trying. Oh, yeah, well, let's go to the bottom line. So you're spending a fiver. You know, a fiver. Yeah, I'm doing a couple of cheap ones here yeah. and there. At, 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 at 200 vids, that's a grand. Yeah. But you're not buying individual beers, you bought them in six packs. Yeah, well, So that's most probably... Just quietly. Yeah. Well, that's most going to cost you about, what, four? Four thousand? What, four and a half grand? Four, uh, four, four grand? Four and a half grand? Yeah, I'm not counting. Life's short, mate. you got to enjoy it. And what I believe in is, doesn't matter what it costs, you buy it and you try it. Like, I've been to restaurants and what, I pay... Just beer? No, everything. Everything? Everything. Just I don't care. You go to a restaurant, I'll buy, you know, I'll try the best. And if I don't like it, I just don't buy it again. You know what I mean? Mm. Some restaurants cook things just delicious. Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> you don't mind paying big bucks. You know, when I travel, I always look for... A restaurant that's busy, a lot of people there, and I'll look as I go into that restaurant, and if it's full of locals, I'll, I'll look at what they're eating. Good indication to go into a restaurant, yes. And if a lot of them are eating a similar dish, you'll know that that dish is going to be so fresh, and it's going to be the best thing around. If all the locals are eating there. Yes. So it? that's how I sort of go. And then I'll get a couple of other dishes off the menu and uh, hopefully I've learned a bit of that language. You know, I speak a bit of ten. So that's all right. You know, you usually mumble through something and get a decent meal. It's like street food in Thailand, you know. Like oh, some people eat it, some, some people don't eat it. But you know, if, if it's not clean and hygienic, people won't come back the next day. So, you know, they'll soon go out of business. And the word will soon get around. So you, you'll find that most, you know, outside, uh, you know, street food kitchens in you know, Asia are most probably, you know, cleaner than, you know, some yeah, restaurants, you know, I'm, 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 I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, the street food in Thailand's bar none, the best food of Thailand. When you see a, a heap of Thai people run out to get food off a... a you know, it's usually a lady on a motorbike hooked up to this big thing and they're grilling up chicken or they're, you know, yeah, cooking common. up 
fried yeah. noodles or pud kapow or something. Stand and Thai food. when have all the Thais come out and start buying it off them, you know they has got to have the best food. You know it's good. Oh, yeah. And that's a good time to get out of the sun in Thailand around midday, you know, 12, 1 o'clock. Been down the beach, you've done whatever you have to do. And uh, time to get some street food and get back to your hotel room where it's air conditioned, you have a shower, you've had a body surf, done whatever you had to do. And uh, then kick back and have a couple of beers and uh, enjoy the street food. It's cost you about five bucks. You have a whole fish grilled, maybe a bit of grilled chicken and uh, a Pineapple. dish of veggies cooked with maybe beef or something with oyster sauce, you know, and, on, and rice. Very, very it's cheap. Good, um, it's good food. Very good food. Very um, delicious food. Mm. Mm. You know, some... That'd go well with Thai food. Yes, certainly would. That's where I'm, what I'm thinking with that one. I wouldn't mind having that with like a nice pot kapow with an egg on top. You could drink a lot of it. You could drink a lot lot of it with Thai food, couldn't you? You couldn't you? Oh. Well, that's a beauty. Well, I'm enjoying those beers. That's a really nice one again. Yeah. And it's held its head. Still got a bit of a head there. Uh, That's part of the test. And that's going well. And I'll uh, catch up with you soon, fellas. Get amongst it. Cheers, John. Thanks for that. Thanks, Steve. Cheers, man.